to cure ulcer naturally and permanently. How to prevent ulcer naturally and permanently. Prevention is always better than cure. After today, every history of ulcer will go out of your system. You will not talk about ulcer again by God's grace. So if only you can follow me to the end of this video, we will find out what actually causes ulcer, what ulcer is all about, how to use natural remedy to get rid of it permanently and be happy ever after. In addition, I will be treating how you can get rid of heartburn. So if only you can follow me to the end of this video, we will now unravel this too because actually it is a request video from someone and I am here to always satisfy the need of my viewers. That is why I am making this video. Welcome once again to Jenny Action TV. In this particular channel, I discuss three important variables which are actually health, safety, and spirituality. If you can understand and apply this three correctly in your life, there is no limit to your achievement. If this is the very first time you're landing in this channel, you are highly welcome. Please do well to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that YouTube will always notify you once i upload a new video for my returning subscribers thank you so much i appreciate you for your thumbs up for your sharing the video your blessings to me may god give you back sevenfold and if you are a new timer so please kindly go through the channel for anything that concerns spirituality health and safety that you want just type Jenny Action TV slash the keyword. Let's say you are looking for how to get rid of low spank count. Jenny Action TV slash low spank count. Or how to get supernatural breakthrough. Write Jenny Action TV slash breakthrough. You will actually get suggestive videos on that. And then you will watch any of them that you like. But for adventure you have checked, you did not get, simply drop it on the comment section. So long as it affects health, safety, and spirituality, don't drive us to another direction by god's grace god will help me i will do the video so without wasting time let's quickly get straight into the video of today so let me start with heartburn heartburn is simply whenever you feel discomfort in the upper part of your chest sometimes you discover that when you eat certain food that heartburn comes my candid advice is we can reduce the quantity of the food that actually causes that to you. Some people is during pregnancy, they experience this heartburn. All I want to tell you is that it's not easy to carry a full human being. That is why the price of a mother is not easy. So you have to endure or get your doctor to give you some medication that will help to manage it. But naturally, if you always have heartburn, this is the natural and the best remedy for it is simply if you know what i leave some people call it alfalfa just look at it on the screen get to enough quantity of uh, water leaf wash it clearly with salt and water then pound it very well and uh, drain out the natural water you can actually add a little quantity of very hot water in order to neutralize any jam in case there is contamination then if you cannot pound you can actually blend it which is the best so that you get everything blend it into pieces so when you have blended add a little bit of original honey that's one spoon of original honey drink it first thing in the morning and last thing in the night first thing in the morning last thing in the night first thing before eating last thing after you have eaten everything you want to eat for the day by god's grace after 10 days heartburn will become a history in your life so if you make the liquid uh, plenty you can actually uh, kind of fleece it for any time that you want to uh, use it just bring it up uh, pour it in a cup and then put a kind of hot water in a bowl and drop it inside that hot water to a kind of uh, become a little bit warm you know taking too much cold thing is not good then when it becomes warm, you add one spoon of original honey when you add that one spoon of original honey you drink full cup then as you do it for the next 10 days it's not even only hard bone that particular leaf water you have also lots and lots of health benefits it will also do lots of health benefits in your body even honey is so good that is the only liquid 
that is very close to human blood. That is why it can actually take care of many things. For people that are diabetic, you know that once sugar finishes in your body, you are dead. It's worse, self. the person collapses. But the easiest way to help yourself is to always have natural sugar in your body, which honey supplies to you. So that's why you see many, many a kind of uh, recipe or many remedy actually contains honey. So let's now deal with stomach ulcer. Now, stomach ulcer is simply injury or wound inside the inner linings of the stomach. And this causes extreme pain and discomfort. And sometimes it can also be referred to as peptic ulcer. And some of the things that can actually cause this ulcer is a bacteria called Helicobacter pyori. And again, frequent, frequent use of pain relievers. Because for any of these chemical drugs you take, it takes care of one thing and damages another thing. And one other thing that some of this chemical drug does, like pain relievers, like paracetamol, panadol, or whatever name they are bearing, is that they affect your liver when you use it. Take it or leave it. That's why natural remedy or using natural stem cell product like some of them are cells is the best for you because they are made from 100% natural things so when you frequently are using pain reliever maybe you are having headache because sometimes headache is as a result of another condition in your body now when that ulcer pain starts you start feeling headache you rush and buy paracetamol and all the, the more you are using it the more it causes more damage in the lining of your stomach and the ulcer increases and again something like smoking and then constant smoking alcohol they are not good even the bible says give alcohol to somebody who is foolish let that person become more foolish so i will always say that alcohol makes one to be a fool so if you are engaged in alcoholism re reduce stop it because it damages a lot of things in your body so that is by the way some of the symptoms of this particular ulcer is one nausea like you are feeling if you know how pregnant women feel early morning sickness you feel sickly you are feeling clumsy you are very very weak and so on that is what it causes again vomiting sometimes you discover that you eat certain things you vomit then unusual weight loss the person is not even on any weight loss therapy it's normal yet is constantly experiencing loss of weight then pain of course it causes causes pain in the stomach sometimes, in the upper chest and so on, then again it's loss of appetite. But the most important thing is actually how do you get rid of it? How do you even prevent it? Prevention is better than cure. I have treated it partially in this channel as comments in passing. You see this our miracle leaf. This miracle leaf you are seeing is one powerful leaf that can rectify a lot of health issues in your body, kidney stone, respiratory problem, diabetes, high blood pressure and so on. It treats this uh, ulcer. How does it treat it? You eat it with granite. Morning, afternoon, night, morning before meal, afternoon before meal, night before meal. You can just watch like five leaves, seven leaves of it. That's why you need to have it in your house. Even three leaves. Watch it very well with a kind of salt and water and eat it. It's highly edible and very good for health. So when you eat it with granite, with time, you will see that you don't have what's happening at least for 11 days. Do it consistently for 11 days. Now, for people that will always complain that their location, it is not there, let me now give you universal remedy that I know that everybody will have. Is one, get eight pieces of unripe plantain. Unripe one. When you get eight pieces of unripe plantain, you wash it very well with a kind of a salt and water. You peel the back. Now, after peeling the bag, get a kind of four liters of water, cut those unripe plantain into pieces. Okay, if you cannot get unripe, unripe plantain, you get unripe banana. Two of them do similar work, but preferable unripe plantain. Cut it into pieces and store it in that particular four liters of water. Leave it there to ferment. On the fourth day, bring that gallon and shake it vigorously very well after you have started uh, shake it very well then be using glass to fetch half glass of it daily first thing before you eat anything last thing after you have eaten everything you want to eat in the morning that's 
you drink it two hours before meal and two hours after meal and by god's grace after 14 days you will look for that ulcer you will not see it again but you need to know this that prevention is always better than cure so i need to give you some of the food that triggers it because once you know that you have this tendency to have ulcer or you already have ulcer you know once there is a wound in the body even when you finish curing that wound that that they, they a kind of the mark is still there so in order not to trigger it again please avoid these meals avoid these foods or reduce it to reasonably practicable to avoid having ulcer please be cautious in taking the following food one avoid pepper in fact pepper most of the times does not actually have a kind of health benefit but there is a lot and lots of spiritual benefit of pepe so you can actually stop you from eating it completely when my dad was alive you know he's a medical doctor he doesn't even allow us to cook pepe we started eating pepe when he died so you don't need to even eat pepe even causes triggers high blood pressure so if you already know that you you, you are at the risk of having ulcer avoid eating pepe again guava or guava reduce it or if you can avoid it completely good again all these um, carbonated drinks like coke fanta and others you can use it to do your spiritual work but avoid drinking them so as to help yourself again something like beer that's alcohol it triggers it lime avoid using lime that's eating lime putting it in any of your meal you can actually use it for spiritual work use it inside your bed water but don't actually drink it in any way and then something like grape and other hot drinks all these things causes what a kind of a ulcer better you are taking natural drink you can actually get your watermelon and blend it of course watermelon seed cures high blood pressure like no man business so you can actually blend a whole watermelon bit but just scrape a little bit of the back or even both the back and take and then leave some of this citrus fruit alone something like orange too can trigger it don't always take it on empty stomach it triggers it so if you can a kind of remove your hand from these particular food items that i just called believe me after you use the recipe i show today you will never talk of ulcer in your life again so for the ulcer patient you can also you get a stem cell product from me and use it to help yourself because believe me you need stem cell because it actually maintains your health from head to toe so by god's grace it will help you to permanently get rid of ulcer Okay, so with this, I've actually come to the end of this video. If you find value in it, why not give me that thumbs up? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Hit the bell notification so that you will always get my next upload. Don't forget to share this channel to everyone. You might also be helping to liberate others. And as you plant a vineyard of God by liberating humanity, God will always supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. Thank you once again. See you, Lady Jenny. Same. Bye-bye.